Once again, this is Chief Miner Larry Gubatayong. Welcome back to our channel, to our Laksonian Future Engineers. Sa ating kabaro, in line of profession, in this video, you will learn regarding about the proper starting of diesel generator number one and number two and proper synchronization which to be applied in your base cell based on the virtual engine room simulators. Okay, uh, proceed tayo. Before starting of the emergency generator, uh, punta ulit tayo sa ating fuel oil system, sa ating storage, kung saan ay buksan natin from shore sa intake manifold ang ating diesel oil deep tank. So, in the meantime na umangat siya, na umabot sa 90%, at uh, kailangan buksan natin papunta ng diesel oil service tank. Okay, ito siyang diesel service tank, may linyada siya. Then, punta sa diesel oil service tank. So, buksan natin. After that, manually hand pump hanggang umabot sa sa at least maximum level. Okay, at uh, napuno na, sirado. At uh, balik sa ating linyada sa diesel oil service deep tank. So, at least uh, malapit na mapuno. No? Pag umabot na siya, at sirado na natin ang ating no? from the manifold no from shore okay sarado okay at least uh, puno siya no at uh, next dahil meron na tayong uh, diesel oil service tank no? may laman na punta na tayo sa ating power plant at kailangan na natin pandarin ang ating emergency generator in one wall position then start the engine no so nakita nyo no at uh, umilaw then we have to put automatics no in case of uh, blackout this will be automatically started no so next uh, punta na tayo sa ating uh, cooling water system no dahil kung bakit uh, sa ating seawater diagram kailangan din buksan natin ang ating no low switches or high switches from the starboard so pinili natin ang port side so itong linyada niya papunta ng ating uh, cooling seawater pump number 2 at papunta ng diesel generator number 1 and number 2 okay at uh, buksan din natin ang ating expansion tank no so take note ang ating expansion tank eh, there is what they call the water treatment no uh, that will also to no to reduce or uh, minimize the corrosion of the main engine jacket cooling as well the diesel generator no uh, jacket cooling so take note na during uh, supplying of all expansion tank no uh, please you have to vigilant regarding about the what's keeping no not to overflow the water that will scatter the engine room so okay at uh, sirado na natin ang ating makeup bag sa ating expansion tank so next dahil may press water na tayo punta tayo sa ating lubricating system so sa ating lube oil storage no during uh, also bunkering of lube oil mapasok siya dito sa ating uh, lube oil storage no sa ating DG at uh, pwede din sa ating ating main engine lub oil storage tank no at ang itong intake available no pagtapos ito at pwede ka ding mag-supply ng either na itong main engine lub oil number 2 ay pwede mo ding gawin na main engine lub oil storage tank or main engine cylinder oil tank no for the lubrication of the cylinder liner as well the piston and the piston rings no Okay, sa nakita natin ang level at napuno na, sirado na dito. At sa kabila, malapit na lang, no? At uh, sirado na din. At uh, after sirado ang ating uh, intake manifold from shore, then buksan natin ang papunta na ng ating diesel generator number 1 or the main engine sump tank. Okay, at uh, nakita natin ang level ay umangat na din. So, in the meantime na umangat, no? Pwede natin buksan ang ating cylinder oil tank, no? Tapos, dahil nagkasupply na din tayo ng cylinder oil uh, sa ating storage, no? So, buksan din natin at ito ay magkaroon din ng laman once na pinatakbo natin ang ating tawag na cylinder oil pump, no? So, balik natin sa ating lube oil storage, no? So, at least, uh, dagdagan natin, no? Let's say, medyo nagbawas 
Okay? Sarado natin, nagadal medyo umabot na sa kanyang level. Okay? Okay, sarado na, no? Dito papuntang uh, diesel generator number 1 samtang at uh, papunta ng diesel oil storage. So, kailangan i-maintain din natin, no? Na ang level niya ay nasa maximum level, okay? For that, sarado na, no? Dahil ito, umangat siya, no? Kita mo, dahil nagkaroon ng umabot sa maximum level. Okay, next, uh, dito tayo sa ating compressor air system sa ating diagram. At, uh, ready na natin na uh, buksan ang mga barbulas galing ito ng ating air compressor number 1 number 2 no at saka no ito ay galing papunta na ng reducing valve papunta ng uh, control air spring emergency stop for the safety devices at ganoon din sa ating main engine turbocharger cleaning for marine grit at uh, itong yung linyada No? at itong barbula ay papunta na ng main engine saka sa main engine starting valve okay sarado lang muna natin at hindi pa yan papadarin so buksan natin barbula sa ating uh, no? para sa ating diesel generator number 1 number 2 so start sa ating emergency compressor dahil meron na tayong power okay at balik tayo sa diesel generator number 1 and number 2 buksan natin ang barbula ng Uh, air inlet and as well the fuel oil inlet okay at least may air system na tayo may tawag na fuel oil system na tayo at uh, may cooling sa seawater and fresh water as well the lubricating and to the sump tank so balik na tayo sa ating uh, power plant system sa ating diesel generator number 1. So sa generator number 1, kailangan na ilagay natin ulit sa ating preload and automatic uh, mode position and start mode in manual, then manually start the engine. So before starting of the engine, no? So take note nga uh, before starting of the main engine, you have to open all the indicator Cucks, no? Say for example, if it's a six cylinder or seven cylinder, then after that you have to engage or disengage this turning gear. Okay. Okay. After disengage, then you can uh, air blow the engine. After that, you have to close this uh, indicator cucks, no? Uh, ganyan na procedure sa diesel generator no so take note nga during starting you have to start in engine side no to avoid the uh, what you call the trouble so here is the engine side so here in the manual side you have to start in manual side and you can check if there is the rpm will build up no so nakita natin na uh, manual side no okay at uh, check natin ulit sa ating uh, fuel oil system kung sa ating storage so nakita nyo at uh, may laman siya punta dyan at tapos uh, okay may laman siya no generator number 1 okay then balik tayo sa ating power plant system put in manual position so start again okay yan umandar na at uh, tingnan natin no at uh, umabot sa sa one maximum rpm no once na stable na then the time we have to synchronize okay uh, it needs an observation the pressure and the pressure of the fuel as well the pressure of the seawater and also the cooling press water pressure gates no Okay, next, uh, we have to put in automatic position ng ating start mode. Then, put in, uh, go to the main switchboard and the diesel generator number one. Then, we have to put in the preheat on. Then, after that, we have to put our select generator selector to the generator number one and manual send to mode position. Okay, at uh, umiikot siya, no? 
medyo mabilis kailangan ng ating frequency bawasan para bumagal then pag umabot ng 11 o'clock then that's time you have to switch on this breaker no you have to switch on the breaker okay medyo mabilis pa bagal ulit then for number one okay manual synchro mode no ilagay natin sa manual okay uh, try again for synchronization okay pumasok siya at uh, pagtapos niyan dahil pumasok na ang diesel generator number one synchronization balik naman tayo sa ating power plant sa diesel generator no number two so ilagay na natin ulit sa manual side then we have to start our diesel generator number two okay at least uh, successful at umandar siya at walang problema so take note na you have to put the preload no and the auto mode position then it will stop it automatically okay once na umabot na at nagstable na din sa, sa kanyang rpm no that's the time we have to also to synchronize no our diesel generator number two also so next uh, we have to proceed and the uh, diesel generator power plant control panel so okay yan ang number two then we have to put the preheat no stator for an on then after that okay no ilagay natin ang ating selector sa number two so balik natin ulit no sa ating uh, power plant system okay sa makita natin at least sa uh, walang problema balik sa automatic then balik sa ating main switchboard okay at uh, dandaan siya no kailangan natin ipasok no for synchronization okay put in automatic then auto synchro okay at napasok natin Uh, by means of automatic synchronization sa diesel generator number one ay napasok natin sa paraan ng manual so for monitoring no you have also to put in diesel generator number one and or diesel number two for the generator selector for checking for the frequency so kung wala mo problema then you have to put in no of position okay at uh, pagtapos nyan well, na synchronize na natin and we will uh, double check our the diesel generator number one cooling water si system to switch on and, and standby as well the main and air compressor main switchboard put in auto mode another one and uh, standby position and also or to the automatic then you can set the selector either one or two then after that you have to check the pressure of the main air reservoir tank no you can see uh, nakita nyo at uh, we build up pressure so yan ay pwede na magpaandar ng ating main engine starting no and also this line use for the going to the air distributor and also to the main air starting of the bulb okay at uh, natapos naman sa ating next video uh, we are going to carry it out regarding about the starting of the what we call the heavy fuel oil purifiers as well to the lube oil lube oil purifiers no? Once na pinatakbo na natin ang ating steam boiler or auxiliary boiler. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching my video.